What up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Thank y'all for being here as well. Uh, for joining me for another reading. Welcome back to the channel, my OGs. Welcome to the channel, any new viewers. If you want to be a part of the fam, you know, we're all about uplifting each other over here. We ain't with that BS, you feel me? <laughs> we're about that love, that peace, you know what I'm saying? And prosperity. And we want to see everybody win. So if that should go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and be a part of the fam, we'd love to have you over here. So today I got a, a quick message for y'all. Is that I pulled some cards from this uh, Modern Love Tarot deck. All right. Um, the card, the first card that came out was Five of Cups. Okay. Now, this card, you know, Five of Cups talks about being sad um, and lost opportunity, uh, crying over spilled milk, or still thinking about something, you know, that has ended and not being able to get past it, not being being able to move on from it. Right. And this card, we see a woman is at a funeral, you know. Cause it's a casket right here. And then we see the RIP sign in the back. And then we got like, what is this? Wine? Wine spilt? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, something has already ended, right? But spirit is right now, this very moment, this very instant, trying to get to attention, trying to get your attention, uh, not focus on the past, but focus on the present. I want you to be present because there's some sort of, there's something coming in. There's a knight of cups. There's an offer that's coming in. There's an opportunity that's coming in. There's some communication that's coming in. There's a message that is coming in. All right? Something is about to happen. Some sort of window of opportunity. Uh, some gateway, a doorway. Something is about to open up for you that has the potential to lead you to your dreams. Uh, the star's energy here, right? It has a potential to lead you to your dreams. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity uh, this is the opportunity to do something that you've been dreaming about, going places that you've been dreaming about going, experiencing something that you've been dreaming about experiencing, right? This is you getting more recognition, public recognition, if that's what you want. This is you uh, being in the spotlight. This is you healing and moving forward, moving on from the past, right? This is you finding your way back in life again and, and opening up a brand new door for yourself and experiencing something different and moving on from whatever took place in this five of cups energy. Right. And then we have queen of cups. Right. For some of you guys, this is your dream lover, your dream mate. Right. Somebody who is very, very loving, very, very caring, very, very gentle, kind, nurturing. You know, somebody who's very, very serious, has a genuine heart. Right. Genuine, baby. Or this is you having the opportunity to be in this Queen of Cups position yourself, okay? Uh, and to where you're balancing your energies out, right? The intuition is on point. Your, your, your energy's uh, free and clear. You're no longer feeling sad for something that already took place and has already left your experience, right? You've got you're getting over a heartache, getting over pain, getting over lost opportunities, and moving on to a brand new opportunity, right? For some of you guys, if this is a love individual, this person, let's, let's check some signs. <clears throat> Sagittarius. We got, what is this? Taurus. Sagittarius and Taurus. We got double Taurus, baby. We got double Taurus right here. Double Taurus and Sagittarius is what came out. Okay. Um, we got, underneath the deck was two of cups, right? This is a connection. This is a, uh, for some, it's going to be a love offer. For some, it's going to be an offer for friendship, okay? For some, it may be an offer for friendship that turns into a love offer. For some people, it's going to be a job. It's going to be an offer to move to somewhere, uh, someplace different. It's going to be an uh, offer to have some sort of stability, an agreement. It's signing a contract for some people, signing a lease for some people, you know? But it's two things coming to, something coming together for you. And the thing about this and this reading is that it's going to come in fast, Knight of Swords. It's coming in fast. So you got to be ready. You can't be caught stuck in this energy right here with the five of uh, cups when this when this offer comes in. You want to be ready to make that decision. Ready. You got to be ready, healed and grounded and ready to go hit the ground running to say, mm, no, I don't want it. 
oh, yes, I want this. This is me all day. You have to be in that, that balanced position or that heel position to be able to make a sound decision for yourself. We have to get out of this five of pentacles energy here, right? To where you may have been suffering, to may, uh, you might have been having um, money issues, or you may be having a tough time uh, holding on to your coins. You may be having a tough time at work or finding work that you like, that's stable or that's uh, more suitable for you. Um, this could have been you um, missing out, feeling that you're missing out on love, feeling that you cannot find somebody. You're never going to find somebody who actually is going to truly love you, who you're going to who you're going to connect with, you know, who you are going to gel with. You know what I mean? But this is you coming out of that energy. And there's going to be this offer that's coming through is a tower moment to break that energy up. To show you, you're not as stuck as you as, as it seems. Your situation is not as as stagnant as it seems. You can move forward, right? And that new opportunity is coming in. That new opportunity to create more money, to have a, a more balance with the Ace of Pentacles, to have a more balanced uh, love life or, or connection and relationships with friends or lovers. You know what I'm saying? Being able to date again, right? Having... Um, the opportunity to make a dream come true or to make your dreams come true are here for you. Like whatever you've been, you thought you've been missing, it's about to be replaced with something that's more solid, more firm, confirmation, more beneficial for you. It's able to, this is something, this is a seed that has a potential to turn to a whole orchard. You know what I'm saying? And produce thousands of trees. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, if it's a connection, it has a potential to be long term or to be a very, very gratifying experience for yourself and not like uh, one that's going to leave you with more trauma. Right. If it's a job, you have the potential to actually make money to actually when you're able to pay, actually literally able to pay bills off, able to 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 get ahead in life in some sort of way, fashion form. Right. And then we have eight of Pentacles. Which is about your hard work is paying off for you. Right now is not the time for you to give up. Right? Your hard work paying off for you. It's not the time for you to give up. It's, it, 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 this is you meeting somebody who you're able to work with. Who you're on the same page. You're, you're uh, equally yoked. You're just alike. You know what I'm saying? Let me pull some more cards from this deck. You're just alike. You're equally yoked. And it's like, you know what? Let me use a different deck. Yeah, you're equally yoked. You feel me? Let's use this Sufi tarot. Equally yoked or you guys get along. You're very, very supportive. Or this is like something that you've been working towards. There could have been, there could have been a, 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 a project that you worked on. <clears throat> a project that you worked on that, that fell through. The plans fell through or it, it didn't go how you wanted it to go. But something brand new is coming through. It's like, yo, don't worry about that. That's not for you, but this is for you right here. And it's going to make you happy. Happier than you thought you could have been with whatever it was that you were trying to obtain or achieve. You feel me? What else we got here? Four cups. Yeah, it's for you to get out of this energy. For you to see, see, there may be things popping up around you. Or there may have been things popping up around you uh, over the the weeks, the months, uh, the, the years and whatnot um, that you might have been. Like, I'm just bored with this. Like, I'm not content with it. I don't want to move. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to, you know, getting like stuck in a rut or, or not seeing the value in things. Spirit is telling you to see the value in what's around you, right? See the value in, notice and see, or when you're dealing with like heavy energies like this, look for ways to where uh, you are able to see the blessings that are around you, where you're able to acknowledge the blessings that are around you because for one, I'm hearing you're not alone. For two, I'm hearing that you have a lot to be thankful for in your life. If you're watching this video, you have a lot to be thankful for because there's people who can't go on YouTube. They may not have a phone. They may not have a computer. They may not have the data, you know what I'm saying, or, or internet, you know? Yeah, your life is getting ready to move forward. So Spare wants you to be ready to take advantage of these. Um, somebody may be contacting you. Uh... You may be getting job offers, calls, something that was stuck, something that was stagnant. And I'm seeing in a place to where uh, 
something was dying. You know what I'm saying? Something was dying and something was barren. You're about to start seeing life sprout. Yeah. It's about to, metaphorically, it's like going through a spring period, right? To where the leaves are returning to the, to the trees and things are blossoming and blooming again, right? What was that? Too many cars fell on the floor. I think it was like four that fell on the flow. Fell on the flow. But maybe I should go when that fell on the oh five. Changes, baby. It's changes coming up for you. Period. Changes is coming up for you, yo. Things up. Things are about to return to normal. Whatever that looks like to you. Or you are about to with the six of cups. No, this is not a six. This is this is the Knight of Cups. Oh, this is the Knight of Cups. Sorry, I thought it said six, but it says Son of Cups. And in this deck, this is the um the Knight of Cups. So yeah, that that offer is a is gonna be a game changer for you. So Spirit wants you to be ready, baby. We got Malika, Malika of Staffs. This is uh Queen of Wands here. You're about to get the fire is about to be lit back up. You feel me? And on the bottom, we also have. The shot of staff. So there's two counterparts that could be coming together for some of y'all. Yeah, you could be meeting your, your divine counterpart or somebody who's a soulmate or somebody who's just a good match for you. Y'all on the same page. Y'all understand each other. You may have similar backgrounds or you may might not have similar backgrounds, but there's something that brings you guys together. Okay, we got four of swords. This is you healing, taking the time to heal your heart right now, right? To prepare and get ready. Healing yourself, right? And being okay being alone, standing on your own, nine of coins, standing on your own, baby, being okay, comfortable, right? There's one thing, like, some. I know some people don't like being, um, and we got the hero font right here, too. This is something that is being guided towards you, yeah. This is divinely guided. So it's like, what you going to do? Sometimes people feel like they have to have somebody around them. They got to be laying up on the next to somebody and they don't take that time to rest and, and relax and you know get back to you heal your heart so that you don't take that baggage which you're going for so this there needs to be this period even if it's however long it takes you to do it you need to be in that period because you, you're coming you are manifesting more balance in your life more uh for some people with the uh, malika of coins you're balancing with the queen of which is the queen of pentacles you're creating more abundance or you're you're the door is opening for you to have more abundance, more luxury, more affluence, more uh, stability, more security in your life yeah, than you've had before. This is you waking up and it's like you ain't thinking, oh, my God, how am I going to pay this bill today? Oh, my God, like, is it safe for me to go to sleep? Or, oh, my God, how am I going to get to work? Or, oh, my God, what job do I have? You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not worried. You're just moving into a space to where you're comfortable. For somebody, I hear the new normal. I just heard the new normal for somebody. And we got Malika of Cups. This is the Queen of Cups again, yo. Your life is coming into balance, yo. This is the Queen of Cups again. This is you feeling good once again about yourself, about your life. And not worrying about what you lost in the past. But focusing on everything that you've accomplished and everything that you should be blessed for and the beautiful things that are waiting for you to explore and experience uh, moving forward. We got seven of coins here. Y'all, this is about things that you're investing in. This is your hard work paying off because we had seven of coins and then we also had eight of coins earlier. So this is that progression. This is that change. It's like something that you planted is finally uh, getting ready to happen for you. But it's like, okay, are you ready to, to get this? Are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to experience something brand new? Do you think you're worthy of it, you know? And if you know, like I know, you're not going to want to let this pass you by. Let me get some additional energy from the Veritas. Uh, Veritas. Oracle here. Oh, there was another reading I needed to do. 
Maybe I can't do this. No, I'm not gonna. Well, man, let me take these cards off. Cause I, I had, I was using this deck to do a reading for uh, us, and I put the cards back in when I pulled them, and I'm, I'm still gonna need to record that reading too for us. I'll do that one next so I could have this. Yeah, it's all it's it's part of divine timing, okay? It is part of this. This right here is happening for you. It's part of divine time. And it's funny that I got these cards right here. That's leading to this next reading. Wow. Yo. Yeah. You're one of a kind, baby. Uniqueness. You're one of a kind. You're a rarity. You're eccentric. Be confident in who you are. Right. Being your, your truth and your authenticity. The more you the more you stand in your truth and authenticity. The more that blessings are going to rain down in your life. You feel me? Gifts from heaven. Divine favor and protection. Answer prayer for answer prayer and grace. Is what we got going on there. So. If y'all want whatever is. Y'all want whatever is coming to you. You know what? Let me use this. Um, What is this? this kip, kipper. Maybe I can use this kipper too. Because I don't want to pull too much cards from the other thing. The other deck. Because I need to use that one. <clears throat> I don't want to use, lose the cards that other cards that came out. Tell us about this. An official person is going to show up in your life. Or you are moving up the ranks in some area of your life. Yeah, this is this is the opportunity to to I just heard banish poverty in your life. Or to take yourself out of some money troubles that you might be having. To be able to do some home improvements or be able to bring some stability into your life, to your family life, right? Not only yourself, but into your into into whatever you, place you call home, whoever you call a family. You feel me? You might have been working real hard. It came off sideways, but this is like crossing you. Toil and labor. Like you've been working mad hard, but there's something that's about to come in. Are you going to, you're about to, this is like, uh, are you going to let this opportunity pass you by or are you going to act on it? You feel me? The thief. We got the thief that came out. You might have some interference around you too, which uh, this could be internal or external. Somebody trying to take something from you or somebody preventing you or something preventing you from this opportunity. It could be your own self or it could be somebody externally. Okay, who's trying to work against you? You have unexpected money coming to you. You may have uh, some some um, improvements in your job with your occupation. Some changes coming with your job. <clears throat> unexpected income and uh, love offer, or this is an unexpected love offer. This could be somebody somebody who's uh, well to do. Okay, who's stable, trying to come into your life. But yo. That's what I got for you for this reading. It's going to be up to you what what, what you decide to do, all right? It's up to you what you decide to do. Um, but Spirit is telling you to move on from the past and, and start healing yourself. Start that process, okay, so that you can be uh, present and readily, ready, readily available for this new uh, opportunity that's coming into your life, okay? All right, that's what I got for you guys. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. And I'll uh, thank you guys for being here. Much love and light. Uh, obrigado. Ciao.